Hello, I'm Doug DeWitt, Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems, welcoming you to our next video in our series on the Oki Pro 6410 Neon White Toner Color Laser Printer. In our first video, we covered some of the features and benefits of this printer using the fluorescent toners and why we think it's going to be such a hot product. So if you went ahead and followed our advice and you've acquired one of these units, then in this video we're going to cover the installation and setup of the printer. Now that we've got the printer out the box, we're going to cover everything that you need to get the printer up and running, and then we're going to go through the driver installation so that by the time we finish, we have an operating Oki Pro 6410 Neon printer. So let's go ahead and get started by preparing our Oki Pro 6410 Neon. Once you have your Oki Pro 6410 Neon unit unboxed, you'll notice that there will be blue pieces of packing tape wrapped around the printer. What we want to do is make sure to remove all these blue packing tape pieces so that we can access our back tray and our front tray and our cassette tray. So now that we have all the tape removed, let me move to the front of the printer so that we can get to work on the internal parts of the printer. Okay. Now that we've removed the blue packing tape from the outside of the printer, let's first check the cassette tray. If there are any packing materials within the cassette tray, go ahead and remove them. The next thing we need to check is our multi-purpose tray. We need to make sure that we can fold out our multi-purpose tray and make sure that we're able to press the tray down so that we can load paper in and then hit the load button. So once we've confirmed all that's working, now let's go ahead and open up the printer. When we open up the top lid of our Oki Pro 6410 Neon, a word of warning make sure you do not touch these LED print heads with your bare fingertips. The oil off your fingertips will clog these print heads and it will affect the performance of the output. So make sure you do not touch these black bar print heads. Now what we have to do is activate the toner and drum set. Unlike most units, the Oki Pro 6410 Neon, the toner and the drum is one contained unit. You'll notice here you'll have a little instruction tab on how to do it. So let's go ahead and remove that instruction tab. We're going to pull on this orange tape and then in a fluid motion remove the orange plastic to activate the toner and drum. We want to repeat this procedure for all four process colors. So remove the orange tape, pull the orange film here and here. You will have arrows printed on the orange film to indicate which direction to pull. And if you do it one at a time, you can drop the toner and drum combination back into its appropriate slot. Again, peel the orange tape up, remove the orange sheeting here and here, and drop the toner and drum combination back into the machine. Now we need to lock the toners and drums into position. You do that by moving these blue tabs forward into their lock position. Now the next thing we need to do is remove the safety catch from the fuser assembly. We're going to pull these blue tabs forward to unlock the fuser assembly. Now we need to remove this orange locking safety tab. We're going to do this by pressing down on this blue tab here so that we can move the, tab, the safety tab forward, pulling it out this blue tab should spring up. Now, we can take the fuser assembly, drop it back into the printer, go ahead and move our locking mechanisms back into its lock position. We don't need these instructions anymore, so we can remove them. We'll go ahead and shut our lid, and now our next step we're going to load some plain paper into our cassette tray, power up the printer, and do a test print. So now I've got the unit plugged in. 
We're going to turn the on switch. Make sure the unit fires up. The first thing that we'll notice on our LED display is it will say initializing and the printer will go through its RAM check. So once the RAM check is complete, after the printer initializes, we should see a screen that says ready to print. So now that we have our ready to print screen, let's take some plain copy paper, put it in our tray, shut the tray. Now let's go over the menu settings to print a test page from the Oki Pro 6410 Neon. To print a test page from the Oki Pro 6410 Neon, we're going to hit the up arrow, which is the menu key. When the LED display reads functions, hit the down arrow key and highlight print information. Hit your enter key. We're going to hit the down arrow twice to highlight demo page. Press enter. Demo one. Press enter. Execute. Press enter. So now that we have cranked out our demo page from our Oki Pro 6410 Neon, this lets us know that the printer is operational. So the next step in the setup phase is to go ahead and install the driver onto our computer. Now a word of note, you want to install the driver on your computer before you plug the USB cable into the printer. The driver during the installation will prompt you when to do it. So let's go ahead and jump on my computer right now and let's go through the steps of loading the Oki Pro 6410 Neon driver. Now that I'm at my computer, let's talk about installing the driver for the Oki Pro 6410 Neon Color. If you have the CD-ROM with your driver, go ahead and install it into your computer now. However, if you're using a tablet and you need to download the driver, here are a few resources. You can go to our website, condi.com or ditrans.com forward slash support, click on printer drivers, and scroll through the list and download the driver for the Oki Pro 6410 neon color, or you can go to Oki Data's website, www.oki.com. Highlight support, find the download section, click on drivers and utilities, and when you're on the drivers and utilities page, make sure to click the link for textile transfer printers. Once you're on this page, you will see the list of available drivers. Click on the Pro 6410 neon color. Select your operating system. Scroll down the page and you should find a compatible driver. At this point, go ahead and download. Once you've downloaded the driver, click on the executable and run the installation. Now, the first thing we should notice is select language. A word of warning, make sure that your unit is turned off and the USB cable is disconnected from the printer. Wait for the driver to prompt you to connect the USB cable and turn on the unit to complete your installation process of the driver. But let's go ahead and select our language. Click OK. The next screen that pops up is the license agreement. You will have to agree to the license agreement to continue the installation process. At this point, the installation wizard should appear. Click Next. You do have the choice of an easy installation for a network, an easy installation for local or USB, or to custom install. For demonstration purposes, I'll select easy installation and connect with a USB cable. 
At this point, the driver should start loading to your computer. Now that the driver is prompting us, go ahead and connect your Oki Pro 6410 Neon to your computer with your USB cable and power the unit on. If you're installing the driver on a Windows computer, Windows Plug and Play feature should take over at this point. Once you get notification that installation is complete and that your device is ready to use, click Finish. At this point, I'll go to Devices and Printers. Find my new printer, the Pro 6410 Neon Color. Left click, set as my default printer. Now to make sure my printer is communicating with my computer, I'll right click, go to Printer Properties, and let's see if we can generate a test page. So as you can see, installing the driver for the Oki Pro 6410 Neon is a simple setup. The key is, is to make sure that the driver prompts you to connect the USB cable to your printer. So don't do it until the driver tells you to do it. But once you do it, Windows Plug and Play feature should take over, and like I said, easy install of the driver. Just to make sure that we're communicating with the printer, I'm going to go ahead and do a test print from the driver. So. If I've installed the driver successfully and I go into the printer properties of the Pro 6410 Neon and ask for a test page, it should send that communication through the USB cable to the printer. So if the page outputs with a test page, then we are successfully communicating and we've got our unit set up. And out comes my printed test sheet. So now my computer is successfully communicating with the Oki Pro 6410 Neon printer, which means we are now ready to operate this unit. So I hope you were able to use this video to get your Oki Pro 6410 up and running properly. Remember, if you have any questions about the installation process, don't hesitate to contact our tech support department direct at 1-800-826-6332. For technical support on this unit, you can also contact Oki Data Direct at 1-800-OKI-DATA. Their tech support department is available 24-7, 365. So now that we've done the setup of the printer, we're going to move to the next video in our series, which is showing how to run transfer papers through this Oki Pro 6410 Neon to produce transfers that you can have decorated with fluorescent colors. We think you're really going to be excited, so make sure you tune into that video, the next one in the series. Until then, I'm Doug DeWitt, your transfer paper product manager here at Condi Systems. My time is up and I thank you for yours.